Hi there, I'm Director of Photography, Alec Watson. Today, I'm gonna to take you through a little video creation in Studio 4. I'm actually in the process of making all sorts of videos for ACDC, super fun. And so I thought I would take a moment to show you my approach uh, using Studio 4 of how I do videos. So you'd have a little idea on how to do some simple editing and how to do, most importantly, some housekeeping. So before I even launch Studio 4, I'm gonna show you some housekeeping stuff, which is super, super important, no matter what kind of uh, software you use, whether you're like, you know, people are on Premiere or Resolve or Final Cut on a Mac, they make this mistake all the time. You're not going to because you're gonna use a workflow like this. Okay, I'm not a, I'm not a PC user generally, so bear with me in case I make any mistakes, but here's what I like to do. So inside your PC, you will have a videos folder. I'm gonna open up my videos folder and inside I've got uh, two folders at the moment, they're called captures. Well, what I want to do for my piece of software for Studio 4, I'm going to make a new folder. This is just organizational for me, called Studio 4 because at some point we end up with all sorts of software on our computers. I'll know that every file in here has something to do with Studio 4. I'm gonna open this up. Now, the files that I shot, the, the, all the filming, is on this card. I wanna transfer this in. And a lot of people, uh, especially, say, in the Mac world, we won't pick on the Mac people, uh, the, the tendency, no matter what software you use, is you want to plug in your card and do the transfer into your piece of software and get your software to manage where you send that all to. Uh, that's not a thing to do in Studio 4, and I don't ever recommend doing that with any piece of software, whether you're using Premiere Resolve or Final Cut, and here's why. So what we're gonna do, this, this piece of filming I did was called Long Exposures. You'll be able to look for that on a video on the, the ACDC channel. So we're gonna make a new folder called Long Exposures. There we go. In this folder, I'm gonna put all these files, and the reason that I put them in here is because at some point, especially when you're working with video, it's really easy to fill up your hard drive. So knowing exactly where all the folders before they're edited, like sort of the, the images before they're edited are put, that's super important because the final video might be really small, but if I've shot for an hour, that's gonna be a lot of video taking up a lot of hard drive space. So this, this system allows me to take that long exposures folder and move it later. The other advantage, and this is, this is kind of the big deal of why I never like to import files uh, into a piece of software, and this goes back to when I used to be a recording engineer, is, and I can speak to this one as a recording engineer, is back when Pro Tools came out, there was a tendency to import your audio into the, into the piece of software that you're using. Well, it's like 15 years down the road and I did some big records back then. Like I, I've got some gold and platinum records on the wall. If I go to try and get those files, I'm not gonna be able to do that anymore because I don't have that piece of software. So I, it's very difficult to access those audio files. So there's going to be Studio 5, Studio 6, Studio 7, and for all those people on Macs that think they've got it all sorted out, they're gonna have like Final Cut, like 12.8, and then they're gonna go back and try to go, oh, I, I want to get those long exposure pictures that are, oh, it doesn't work anymore. So by keeping these in a folder by themselves, without being controlled by a piece of software. It's all kind of manual, but super important. So sorry I took so long on that. It's really important that you do that. So now, um, through the magic of video, we're going to transfer these into there because I don't want you to sit and watch me transfer them in, okay? And snap. Yes, I imported them earlier. <laughs> okay, let's launch Video Studio 4. We are met with a blank screen Big blue button, import media, it's ready to go. Now, because we did our good housekeeping, we know where our media is, so we'll click on that. Uh, in this case, <laughs> it was already prepared for me because this is my second take. You don't know that, uh, but you do now. It would probably come up in videos. I would click Studio 4 because I know that's where I keep our stuff. Uh, long exposure is the files that I'm looking for. There they all are. 
Now to select all these files, I can draw a box around them. I can also click the first one, hold the shift key and click the last one. All of them select blue and we hit open. And bam, they are populating the preview window. Clip 109 here, I happen to know, has some audio on it. So I live on Vancouver Island. It's uh, an island off the coast of, well, Vancouver. As you Okay, so this actual piece of video here, while I was setting up, I did some what's called, I did voiceover. And so I can do the voiceover and post, of course, in the studio with the recorder that's in here. But sometimes it's really good to record the audio when you're out in the field because you're working on stuff and you know what you're gonna do. So this, tr this clip here, I actually knew that it wasn't, for, it wasn't for the video, it was going to be for the sound. So let's just take the intro of that. Let's have a let's have a listen. So uh, I live on Vancouver Island. It's uh, an island off the coast of well Vancouver, as you might have guessed. Okay, I've got the clip down the bottom. I'm just going to take that first sentence. So I'm going to shorten this clip by just dragging the mouse back. So now we've got it down to one sentence. So I live on Vancouver Island. It's uh, an island off the coast of well Vancouver, as you might have guessed. Awesome, okay, we're going to stack B-roll on top of this. So to expand this, I take our zoom tool and expand it out. Now I'm gonna look for clips that seem to make sense with this. So I live on Vancouver Island. Okay, we want kind of introductory clips. Well, I know that down here I was walking down a hill. Let's pull this clip in and have a look at me walking down a hill. There's me looking at the camera. There we go. I'm now walking down the rocks. So we can put in an intro part there. What I'm going to do is split the clip. I'll split that and get rid of this. I can drag this clip back. It starts with me talking on the rocks. There we go. I'm walking down. You know what? This probably seems like a better sp space to start right here. That looks more interesting, just with the, the flag behind me. So we will put a little cut in the clip there. I'll get rid of the clip before that by selecting it and hitting cut. And now I'm gonna take our clip and slide it back to the beginning so that I am walking down the rocks over the voiceover. So I live on Vancouver Island. It's uh, an island off the coast of, well, Vancouver. I Okay, now we can hear me walking across the rocks. That's maybe a little bit loud, right? So I can right click on here and edit audio. And then I can take the sound of the rocks down a little bit. Let's have a, let's check that out. We'll move the playback head back, hit play. It's uh, an island off the coast of, well, Vancouver, as you might have guessed. Okay, that looks like a decent little intro section. Now, one thing that's nice uh, about video when you're editing is like, say I pulled that first sentence, I was thinking I was gonna have all sorts of B-roll over the first sentence, and now I've decided, no, you know what? That needs to be longer. Well, we can just drag our clips out longer. I'm sure I must have been talking about some more interesting stuff going on there. And we can play on. Yes, and in a little town called Lanceville. Now, Lanceville's got a little bit of history. Okay, as I walk out of the frame, we clearly want to move to another clip there. We have a couple of choices. We can either cut this clip or we can stack a new clip on top. There's a picture of me setting up the tripod, I seem to remember. There we go. Something like that seems like it would be good. So let's take this clip and move it on to track three. There's me setting up the rest of the tripod and putting it down. Looks like I'm ready to shoot. We'll end that clip there. We'll put in a little split and we will take this section out. There we go. So now when I play, we will go from here, as you might have guessed, and in a little town called Lanceville. Now Lanceville's got a little bit of history. About 100 years ago. With our audio, our audio is starting to stack up through all those layers, right? We can shorten this clip down and that gets rid of that audio. Now we'll go from one clip to the other. Town called Lanceville. Now Lanceville's got a little bit of history. The wind noise that we're hearing is actually, for, I was, it was really windy at this spot, is from this clip here. So what we can do is we can take this clip, right click, and we can either remove the audio completely or we can edit the audio. 
Now, generally on B-roll like this, rather than remove the audio, like even though I don't wanna hear that wind noise, there might be something there that I want later, and it's just easier to edit the audio and bring the volume way down so that if something happens, like, um, I don't know, if I drop the camera <laughs> or something awful like that, you'd wanna hear that thump, and rather than go and add in stuff later, we could manually add it in. We've now got some audio with separate tracks, video stacked over the top, and we go, wow, you know what? I really like that movie. I am ready to share it. So from here, we're gonna go up to produce and share. We'll call this long exposure, I spelled that wrong, intro. And we can see the folder that it's gonna go into is gonna be the Video Studio 4 folder. You know what? This is putting it in a folder that's within the software, right? And we were kind of talking about good housekeeping. I'm gonna go ahead and change that. So I'm gonna to go to Alec, that's me. I'm gonna look for my videos folder, videos. In my videos folder, I'm gonna find Studio 4, long exposure, and then I'm gonna make another new folder, and this is just part of my good housekeeping. Inside long exposure, I'm gonna put the word render. And so any files that I render out, so often when I'm getting things over to clients, or you know, if I'm, I'm sharing it to family, and you know, there's different iterations as we go through. So we're gonna have, I have like rough version one, rough version two, final version, final version 77, because there's never a final version when, you're, when you can go in on your own studio and re-edit. So I keep them in renders. So we'll put it in there and we will hit produce and bam, there's our render. It's ready to go out to, to YouTube. Well, uh, you know, after I do like five more versions of the rough and then 77 versions of the final cut, but that's my workflow. So super important is that housekeeping off the top, and sorry if that part of the video was kind of boring, but it's going, to, it's going to pay off in spades if you do that. So make yourself your own set of folders, put your data from your card in your own set of folders so you know where it is, so you can back it up and move it off your internal hard drive later. Put your renders there as well so you can find them. Video Studio 4, super easy to use. Uh, we're just scratching the surface. There's gonna be all sorts of videos that are gonna be much more fun than this one. Please subscribe if you haven't so you can get hold of those. In the comments section, please feel free to ask questions because I'm happy to make videos and I'll be monitoring that to see what I can do to help you out. That's what I'm here for. Also, way smarter people than me from ACDC are going to be on there to answer questions. So please throw them in. If you'd like to see a video or some kind of specific technique, let me know that too. I am here for you. I am happy to help. Uh, good luck videoing and I look forward to seeing you back here.